Hello guys and welcome to my melting basket video for today. Um, I am going to just jump right into it. We have a lot of empties. I was home a lot this past week. Um, had a couple of days off of work due to a death in the family. So, I was home more. So, big thing of empties and we're just gonna start rocking and rolling. First thing we have here, this was from Savannah Blue. This was the something I had rolled over from the week prior, and it was Nilla Mint. Wintergreen, peppermint, and vanilla. This was a souffle, so I got a bunch of pieces out of it. I um, melted most of this in the bathroom. It was pretty good, pretty strong. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way for it, but it was good. I finished up this mini melter of strawberry shortcake from Rose Girls. I'm kind of disappointed in this one. Um, for a good portion of the week, I was mixing it with this, which I got in a D stash from Facebook, and it was Wonderberry's Gooey Rice Krispies. I put one piece of the Rice Krispies in two strawberry mini, mini melters, and I could not smell strawberry at all. And then I had four mini melters left, two of which were quite small, so I put them all into a melter. And then I could very strongly smell the strawberry, but I will not be repurchasing. You should not have to use that much wax. So that one is a flop for me. And this Rice Krispies was good. I don't really know much about this vendor. I don't really like Rice Krispies enough to go out of my way for it, but it was enjoyable nonetheless. Next, I have this one from American Made Wax Company. It was the collaboration with No White Space Stickers. Main Street Confectionery. The scent notes are not on here. I think it was some candy taffy type of scent. It was very strong, very fruity, like a fruity, sweet baker or not bakery, like candy scent. I would not repurchase it, but it was enjoyable. I have this scent here called Oh Donut Even from Birdies, and it was glazed cinnamon donut and caramel cinnamon latte. Mm, this was so good. It was like two little donuts in here. So strong, so good, highly recommend, would repurchase. Next I had, and I also underpicked greatly last week because I wasn't expecting to be home so many days. So I had to pull in some extra stuff. This was one of the things, that's why I thought of it. And it was from Fandoms, Fairy Tales, Main Street, Popcorn, Sugar Cookies, and Cotton Candy. I had four cubes left. The first time I melted it, I got all three scents very strong. And this time, I mainly am only getting the popcorn. I also put this in at like 10 o'clock or at like 8.30. And then I ran errands at like from like 10.30 to like 2. When I came home, I could not smell it anymore. So probably would not repurchase. I got this in a D stash and it was from Wandering Wonderland. Tommy Pickles, Funfetti Buttercream Vanilla Fudge, Licorice and Orange. Um, it was strong, but it was weird. Like the Funfetti Buttercream mixed with the Cherry Licorice did not sit right for me. Wasn't a huge fan, would not repurchase that. This was another rollover I had. Ava's Country Cupboard and Almond Pistachio Donuts. I already have a backup of this. This was phenomenal for like pistachio almond scent. It did not smell cherry to my nose, but I also really like cherry, so... There's that. There was this one from Birdies Making Sense, Cake It Easy, Blueberry Ice Cream Scoop Bread. This smelled more like her blueberry to me rather than just blueberry, but I prefer like a blueberry muffin or blueberry pancakes. This smelled very blueberry to me. Not a huge fan, probably would not repurchase that. I'm sounding very negative today. This one was Caramel Cream Coffee Toasted Malo. This was pretty good, not my, not super strong, I think, because of the cream and the mallow it dulled down the coffee. It was more heavy on the caramel, but it was very good. I would repurchase. This was, as you guys remember from last week, I was going to be doing a May melting challenge. Well, that is being canceled for me because I am going on a little vacation in two weeks, so I'm going to miss an entire week of May. We'll try again in June. 
but this was I'll Stop the World and Melt With You from Birdies, and it was lemons with a hint of sweet sugar and a hint of tart berry. It was just sliced lemons with sugar. To me, I did not smell any berries. Not my favorite, would not repurchase. This was from a D-Stash Rose Girls Night Shift. This was amazing, super strong, super good. We'll definitely buy whenever she brings that back out. Okay. This was Main Street Cinnamon Rolls, fluffy pastry dough, vanilla, cinnamon sugar. There was two little like cinnamon rolls in here. Super good, would repurchase. It just smells like cinnamon rolls. It's nothing unique. Then I have this one from Fantasy Wax, Cereal and Milk. I have this going in my warmer that's like super close to me right now. And this is so good. I bought this. This was literally from um, when they first opened their shop. And I bought it their first release. And this is delicious. I would definitely buy again. I then melted this one, Little Witch from Villainous Wax. Freshly baked bread, cedar broomsticks, and windy days. This was like the perfect baked bread scent. It smelled like baked bread without being too yeasty. So strong. Highly, highly recommend that if she brings it back. This was Mrs. Jumbo from Fantasy Wax. Um, strawberry, sponge sugar, and vanilla. I don't really remember much of this one. It smells like cotton candy. In here, I think it was more lighter for one of their scents for me, but it also was newer. And yeah, I don't know indifferent um central perk from wit and wax i just want to take a moment i don't feel like wit and wax gets as much credit as it deserves this shop everything i've ever tried from them has performed phenomenally it's the same woman who owns the sticker shop Cricut Paper Co. This is going right now in my office and it is so good. You really get the coffee along with the pastry. It's like a coffee bakery. So freaking good. I have this one from To The Moon and Back. Creations I got in a D-Stash. Again, it was another like cotton candy scent. It was like fine, but I don't, I thought I liked cotton candy more than I do. Then we have this one, which is I don't even know where this is from. It's caramel pecan scented. My sister's girlfriend gave it to me and it was heavenly. She said she has a couple more and she's gonna give me another one. And I'm not sad about it. It was very, very yummy. Next up I had, this was a freebie from um, L3 Orange Fanta. And let me tell you, it smelled like Orange Fanta. Um. I prefer more of like a creamsicle orange than an orange soda. Orange and fizzy are both so strong that it's almost overpowering when they're together. So I probably would not order that in a bigger size. I also had this sample from L3 in Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. I just got another sample of this one. It's okay. Not something I would go out of my way for, but it's fine. I melted this sample of Cookie Therapy from L3 and this, my friends phenomenal fun i got the cookie therapy sampler and i'm mad that i didn't get a cookie therapy just the loaf by itself and now i'm gonna no buy amazing um this is that shop that i don't have very good luck with um what is it called the pink barn house it's magic blue raspberry candy it smells just like a blue raspberry jolly rancher in like the packaging but on cold as per usual for me it might be my warmers um krista from camry plans helped me determine that i have element warmers and it should don't work for that let me know if that shop works for you in the comments below then i finished this um clam from nerdy wax power to the player winter candy apple fresh oranges and clove this is a very blossom I got it because it was like blue and black with gaming controllers. And I thought Chris would think it was cool. He did. The smell though, in, no, not for me. The gray stuff from Main Street Melts, however, fantastic. Delicious cookies and cream scent. Highly recommend. Um, this was a freebie from Ava's Strawberry Marshmallow Waffle Cone. I don't remember much about this one, so probably would not repurchase. This was the peep, as per Carly mentioned, that I murdered. Um, and it was fine. 
it was an okay bathroom scent. It was a freebie that I would not go back for. This one is from Villainous from the um, Coraline box in Welcome Home, Creamy Mango Milkshake and Buttery Vanilla Cake. This is going in my living room right now and it smells pretty good and it's very strong for that room. I honestly probably need two warmers for that room. However, the way that my furniture is set up and the plugs are laid out, there's literally no way to possibly do that. So, but it's filling up the room nicely. I melted this one, Burger of the Day from Nerdy Wax. This one was a misprinted label. So I don't have the scent notes exactly, but I'm pretty sure it was like cinnamon, pancakes, bacon, syrup. It smells like you're walking into like the best diner in town and it's so strong, so good. If they ever have this one in shop, highly recommend. And the last one is this one from Wit and Wax. White chocolate cake, cream cheese, icing, and toffee bits. This I can smell outside my bedroom. It is so strong. So good, so sweet and buttery and delicious and just 10 out of 10, highly recommend it. I highly recommend the shop. Not enough people talk about them. They deserve more love. That's it for my empties. And now let me throw out my trash finally and I will get into my milking basket for this week. Okay, usually I have this in a bit of a better order. So I'm gonna fish through for my bathroom set. So we can start with that, okay. I have this freebie from K's that my melter is just a plug-in in there. So if it's a clamshell, you just need one cube. One of these each will work. This is Truman Lake Fun from K-Scented Melts. I don't have the scent notes. Too lazy to look them up. And it's like an okay, like outside scent. It'll be fine for the bathroom. That's where scents go to die. Um, This is a clamshell called Arrows from Scented Spell. And it just smells like a heavy, heavy cologne scent. So that will be yummy for the bathroom. I do like manly scents, which I feel like comes as a surprise because I like mostly bakery and fruity, but I do like cologne scents, especially for the bathroom. And then what do we want to start with? I guess we'll start with bags. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen the chronicles of my job. So with everything going on with that, I had to pull my favorite wax of all time, which is Make Up Your Mind from Birdies Making Sense, Strawberry White Cake, and Zucchini Bread. I could just sniff the inside of this bag forever. It is so good. It's always what I melt when I'm like stressed out, anything. It's If she ever has it in the shop, try to beat me to it because ain't no rest for the wicked. It is just so good. I pulled this freebie from Birdies just because I broke it and want to get it used up. Caramel Apple Kettle Corn. I mostly get the Caramel Apple scent. I've melted this before. I've gotten this freebie a few times and I've purchased something in this scent. It's very good. I have Hot Orange Danish and Coffee Bean. I believe that this was a custom from Lori, from Lori Brown. I mentioned really liking it in the Facebook group and she replied that it was her custom. And it was this that introduced me to my love of orange mixed with coffee. It is so weird, but it works. So if you have like anything orange, mix it with a coffee scent. You will thank me later. And I have some partially used stuff here. I have this, which I have like a bunch of, I probably need to cut these chunks a little smaller. And this was an oopsie from Birdies and it was in, it's like falling apart, in the shape of toilet paper and it is dark chocolate with milk chocolate and walnuts. And I just need to use this up because it looks terrible. Yeah, these chunks are kind of big. Honestly, I'll probably leave them if I'm being real. But yeah, this smells like a brownie. So I will get that melted. And as you guys know, there's literally a hair in here. Why am I so gross? Anywho, we're just gonna move on. Um, I have these peanut butter cookie and Count Chocula from Birdies. I have very good luck with her wax. I don't really have any issues, but this is A, so cute, but it smells like nothing. So I'm hoping on warm, these, co these colors, these scents come out a bit because on cold, I'm not smelling much and it was poured back in January. So we will see. I got this in a D stash from Wandering Wonderland Strawberry Jam Sugar Cookies. And it does smell really good. Like, so cute. 
yeah it smells good very like a fruity strawberry bakery and it's boo you so i will give that one a go it, the bag looks ugly so i just want to get it out of my collection i have this gnome that i'm going to chop up from Simo in fresh baked pretzel and rice krispie treats i've been really into pretzel scents and that's pretty much what I'm getting out of this. The Rice Krispies sweeten it up a bit, but it's a very good pretzel yumminess. So I'm going to chop that up and use it. And this Snap Bar from Fantasy Wax, which I want to use because I don't love this type of packaging. And it is Pecan Praline and Fluffy Marshmallows. Yeah, it's more marshmallowy than the pecan praline, but we will see how this one goes on warm. Um, but I am very much looking forward to it. I butchered putting that back together. And then I have this, which I've never even really heard of this shop. Lovely Bath and Wax Coin Gold Digger. I got this out of a V stash. I also need to chop this up. And it is Banana Crepes water cookies, tiramisu, and pumpkin crunch cakes. The label is very, very hard to read. Let me pull it out so you guys can see how cute it is. This is what it looks like. The colors are so fun. And it does smell nice. You definitely get that banana scent. So I'm gonna chop this up and see how I feel about it. have one clamshell that is partially used from Fandom's Fairy Tales and Fairy Wind. It's like the Sylveon inspired wax melt and strawberry fizzy soda. And I have melted two cubes of it and remember very much so enjoying it. So I'm looking forward to that. I have this cute little thing from Nerdy Wax, which is sour sugar gummies. And they're like little Mickey heads. Super cute. Whoo! That is sour so we will see how that goes um then i just honestly i went into one drawer my just like plain bakery drawer pulled up every single one of the shots the shot cups besides one because it was a double scent that i melted like a couple weeks ago and i don't want to melt it again right now and i just threw them all in here and then in a couple other drawers picked a couple other scent shot cups and there we go I have this one, which is very old from Nerdy Wax, and it's apple, blueberry, and cotton. It's like the green alien from Star Wars, or Star Wars, wow, from Toy Story. And it smells to me like a green apple Jolly Rancher, so I'm excited to melt that one. I, I'm also filming this on Saturday, and I'm not kidding you when I say I underpulled so bad in my melting basket that I didn't even have anything for tomorrow. And my basket goes Monday to Sunday. I ran out on Thursday. Okay? So that's probably why I super overpicked. This is from Nerdy Wax Gilderoy Lockhart in Fruity Pebbles. Yep, that's Fruity Pebbles, my dear. So that'll be good. I have this one from Nerdy Wax. I ended up buying like a bunch of these. When, oh my God, why am I so gross? In Rex. And it's like a pistachio almond scent. It was when I first got into wax and I was like, oh my God. I love almond scents. And it does smell really good. But from what I remember when melting it, it smelled like nothing on warm. So I'm going to give that a shot. I think I de-stashed to my sister. Sorry. The rest of those but i have one left in my collection i have this one dancing clowns candy corn and glazed donuts from villainous wax i think i melted this like a month or so ago i had two of them and on warm it's not like again nothing i just have really bad luck with scent shot cups i feel so i want to get them gone it smells very like a glaze like glaze sugary candy corn on cold so we will see maybe it'll do better than last time from Nerdy, I have Tiana, Fresh Beignets, and Vanilla Ice Cream. This one is so pretty. Or not fried, or fresh fried beignets. Let me try smelling the bottom. And it does smell like a fried donut, which is essentially, to my knowledge, what a beignet is. So we will see how that goes. 
This one I don't, I don't really like this scent, but Chris informed me that he likes grape scents, so this one's for you, babe. Um, Ellie from Fantasy Wax, which is grapes and bubbly vanilla. It's really cute. I love little ice crystal things on here. But yeah, whew, that's a very strong grape. He is doing some sort of stream type thing on Tuesday night, and I'm planning on melting this on Tuesday since I probably won't be in the office while he does that. He can enjoy that scent. I have this one from Fantasy Wax Melt, Russell, and Creamy Butterscotch and Caramel. This is literally makes my mouth water. It is so good. And then the last thing in my basket is Doll from Villainous Wax, which is a pink Sweet pink sugar cookies and blue cotton candy. I bought this before I knew I didn't really love cotton candy. And it does smell like, you know, cotton candy. But I will give it a shot and we shall see. So that is everything. If you've tried any of these scents or any of these shops, have any comments or concerns, leave me a comment down below. Otherwise, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.